We've all had our days trying Jeff Hardy's mule kick or face buster, but have you ever managed to pull that off? Recently, Hardy was arrested again, but this time there's more to the story. Important question is, will he be able to get out of it? Now let's get into the ring, I mean, the video. First off, what's with all the trials? It may come as a surprise to learn that numerous wrestling-related court cases are pending in Volusia County, Florida, all of which revolve around DUI. Tammy Sitch, a WWE Hall of Famer, is currently on trial over several charges, the most serious of which is DUI manslaughter. And then there's AEW star Jeff Hardy, who'd been arrested in June on three charges, along with a felony conviction for his third DUI in 10 years. After having been arrested twice already in 2019, Hardy was detained the evening after attending a wrestling conference in Orlando, where a video clearly shows him having a drink during a concert set as many will recall. When he was arrested, his level of blood alcohol was three times the permitted amount, according to authorities. He would later enter a written not guilty plea on all costs. Since then, AEW has canceled Hardy indefinitely with AEW owner and CEO Tony Khan declaring that Hardy cannot return to the advancement until he accomplishes treatment and retains sobriety for an unspecified period of time. Jeff Hardy entered treatment, according to Hardy's brother, AEW star Matt Hardy. So what's next for Hardy? According to a source, not much. Hardy's upcoming hearing, which was scheduled for August 17th, had been pushed back 60 days. Hardy's attorney filed a motion waiving Hardy's right to a quick trial. This strategy is similar to the one employed by Sitch and her defense earlier this month when they waived their right to a speedy trial. The trial resulted in no objections to Hardy's motion while the rescheduled hearing date has not been set. The 60-day time period would place Hardy's next court appearance in early October. Don't go anywhere, we are just getting started. What were Dutch Mantel's comments regarding this event? Wrestling veteran Dutch Mantel has spoken out about Jeff Hardy's DUI arrest earlier this year. Hardy was arrested for the third time in five years. The former WWE superstar was arrested on three counts of driving while intoxicated. He was arrested three times in 2019 and once in 2018. Hardy had previously been convicted of public intoxication and driving while impaired on separate occasions. On the latest episode of Storytime with Dutch Mantel, the 72-year-old revealed the charismatic Enigma was in a dangerous situation. Mantel stated that he later discovered that the possible explanation for the police pulling guns was because Hardy was going over 90 miles per hour down the highway. And they broke protocol by pulling a gun even though they don't understand what he's running from. And if he is running that fast, he must be concealing something. And they only pulled out a gun to defend themselves. Dutch went on to say that Jeff Hardy was fortunate not to have died because he was several occasions over the legal blood alcohol boundary. According to Dutch, Hardy is more inebriated than Cooter Brown. He has trouble standing. He can barely put one foot in front of the other. And he enrolled a .294 or 295 which is three, almost four times the permitted limit in the United States or the state of Florida. Does Jeff Hardy deserve another chance? Since Jeff Hardy was arrested for DUI, there has been an outpouring of both support and rage. Some fans appeared to have had enough and stated that Jeff has been given numerous chances, while others stated that no regardless of what has happened, Jeff deserves a second chance. Road Dog Jesse James, a former WWE Tag Team Champion and professional wrestling legend, recently discussed the arrest of former three-time world champion Jeff Hardy and how he did deserve another opportunity despite what has transpired. Jeff Hardy is unquestionably one of the greatest professional wrestling legends. He began his career as a tag team wrestler alongside his brother Matt Hardy, but he gradually surpassed his brother when he began working solo. He rose to prominence in WWE after becoming the title match star for the first time in the 2010s. Road Dog backed up his stance by stating how people still have faith in second chances. According to him, America is based on second chances, and WWE was constructed on second chances. 
and Jeff earned one. He's worked hard and it's time to call it quits. He must be willing and able to go to any length to stop living that way. He was a popular single wrestler as well as a tag team wrestler. He is without a moment's delay, one of the greatest legends of professional wrestling. Even though he was recently handled as a jobber in WWE before his release, he was attempting to find achievement in AEW when he was arrested. We bet Mantell will be saying the exact opposite. Should Jeff continue wrestling? Jeff Hardy has not not yet looked like himself within the squared circle as of joining AEW. The wrestling lifestyle, according to Dutch Mantel, is not better suited for the charismatic enigma. Hardy's recent performance have been panned by fans. Plus, his recent incident resulted in his suspension without pay, forcing the Hardys to pull back from their AEW World Tag Team Championship match. Mantel asserted that Hardy is no longer able to execute his high-flying movements. According to him, if he continues like this, he'll end up causing someone, not necessarily himself, grave harm while wrestling because he's getting older and can't do those moves at all anymore. He stated that he still thinks about Darby Allen's plunge off the ladder. For him, it's a miracle Jeff didn't get knocked off or get hurt, or separated a shoulder or something. What is the plan now? Following Jeff Hardy's recent arrest, Matt Hardy revealed his plans. During an appearance on Extreme Life of Matt Hardy, the veteran WWE star revealed that he recently spoke with Tony Khan, despite his life's setbacks. Hardy maintains a positive attitude. He talked about how he had a wonderful discussion with Tony Khan. They only talked for a few minutes, so we'll see. They have a few weeks to work on things, so he's just looking forward to it. For him, it is very disheartening and heart-wrenching that he won't be able to work with his brother. They wanted to have one last great run, but he planned that he is going to make the most of any opportunity that comes his way. As usual, he will be upbeat and optimistic. With so much going on, it could take a toll on one's mental health. What is Jeff Hardy's mental state? Jeff Hardy's brother, Matt Hardy, has recently given an update on how the former WWE Champion is doing in his mental state. The veteran performer characterized Jeff Hardy as remorseful and hating himself just after the event on his podcast, The Extreme Life of Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy ended that while his brother was required to understand that what he did was awful, he also needed to know that folks supported and loved him. That kind of talk was necessary for him to keep going. After speaking with Jeff over the last few days, Matt observed that his brother is so regretful and humiliated that he almost hates himself. According to Matt though, Jeff needs to understand that although his actions reflect terrible decision making, people still love him and that is critical. It all boils down to the individual at the end of each day. It is very important to keep yourself in check and on top of things. You are the only person who can truly ensure that you do not deviate from your path, whether it is due to mental or addiction problems. What are Mantel's feelings towards it? Dutch Mantel was unapologetic in his condemnation of the charismatic enigma's actions. The former WWE manager also remembered a traumatic event in which he ended up losing his granddaughter almost one decade ago due to a drunk driver's reckless driving. What actions did AEW take? Following his arrest, Jeff Hardy was suspended from AEW. The day after Jeff Hardy's arrest, AEW president Tony Khan issued a statement regarding his status. The statement acknowledged that they were able to reestablish contact with Jeff Hardy. AEW condemns Jeff's alleged behavior. They have made it clear to Jeff that we'll help him get treatment for substance abuse issues, which he's indicated is something he's willing to do. In the meantime, he is on paid leave and can only return to AEW after the successful completion of treatment and preserving his sobriety. Jeff's brother, Matt Hardy, in addition to the AEW president, was unhappy with the event. That's a wrap for this video. Let us know in the comments below if you think Jeff Hardy deserves another chance. If you enjoyed this video, give this a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like these. See you next time. Bye.